Hey everybody, here's a little random rambling rant video. I'm just going to talk about some random topics on my mind and just, you know, talk about some random stuff. Um, Alexander drinks water. In the past week, I think he's done like five of these types of videos where he just talks about random topics just on the top of his head or whatever. I haven't made a video in about 10 days, so I figured it's time to make some kind of a talking video or something. Um, I've actually got a lot of waters to review. If you look over there, I've got like maybe 20 or 25 waters I actually I have to review. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, be because of salaciousdrinks.com, I just have so many extra ones. But it, it does take a little bit of time to, to research them a little bit and um, just think of an idea for a video. And I've been busy with other stuff. And um, so what's going on? I'm, uh, I just purchased a bunch of new accessories for my GoPro. Right now I have this tiny, like, two-inch screen on the side of it. And it's sort of difficult for me to see myself because I've got really bad eyes. So I purchased a big seven inch screen that's gonna go on the side of there. I got some like extra accessories, should make it look better. I just got this water from Walmart today. This is a 35 pack of water and this is $2.96. I think I've already reviewed this and it's nothing special, but the cool thing about this water that I got today is I thought it might've been the cheapest water I've ever gotten. So it was two dollars ninety six cents for a thirty five pack, so it's eight point four cents per bottle. I thought that I thought that was really cheap, but I remembered in an old video I did where I reviewed Niagara water. I got that from Home Depot and it was only a dollar ninety nine for a twenty four pack. So that Niagara water was eight point two cents per bottle. That was in episode 3,899. And I was kind of wondering, you know, a lot of water drinkers watch these videos. What is the cheapest water you've ever found? Um, if, if you bought it online, I think you should include the shipping cost. So you're probably not going to beat this, you know, the, the 8.2 cents per bottle. I think you should avoid free waters that he got for free. Um, and you should avoid tap water, but like, what is, what is the cheapest, let's say 500 milliliter bottle that you've ever gotten? Have you ever gotten one for less than 8.2 cents? All right. So it's been about 10 days since I've, um, done a talking video. One of the reasons why is because I like had an injury kind of so i had this three week gym membership and i you know did some water drinking videos at the gym during those three weeks just on the treadmill and on ellipticals and stuff but i actually injured my foot because of the gym membership um they have a leg press machine and i've always been really good at the leg press like, i'm a big guy so I'm, my legs are always carrying around a lot of weight and um, the leg press has just always been easy for me. You know, it, it goes down to like 410 pounds for the leg press. And even in in like high school, I could do that with one leg. You know, the 410 pounds with one leg. I haven't been in the gym for a while. But I like injured myself with that leg press machine. <clears throat> I think it's because you're supposed to press on it flat with your foot. Let's say this is the leg press machine, and this is my foot. You're supposed to go like this to press up on it with your foot. But what I did was I kind of bent my toes and just pressed with my toes, you know, with my toes up on it. So I, like, bent my, uh, you know, like the tendon in my foot and just messed it up. Because that's, you know... 410 pounds and I was doing I was trying to do it with, with one foot which is just a stupid thing and I hurt my foot pretty badly like it was like kind of numb when I left the gym and then it kind of hurt a little bit that night but then the next morning it was just in super like a ton of pain um just whenever I whenever I walked on it even just walking from my bedroom to the bathroom which is 10 feet away was like almost impossible you know, I had to, like, hop on my other foot to get there. 
and just go, going upstairs to get the mail was like an <clears throat> excruciating amount of pain because of my foot. I actually had a trip to Washington DC planned. I bought, you know, some bus tickets to Washington DC. I paid for an Airbnb and I actually had to cancel the trip there. I was hoping I could drink in front of the uh, Washington Monument or the, I mean the Lincoln Monument um, when I was there and uh, just do some sightseeing but I actually canceled the trip. I gave my tickets to my roommate Don. He went to Washington instead because it was already paid for so it didn't, you know, I didn't want it to go to waste. But yeah, it was so much because like when you're in Washington DC, I would have spent the whole two days I was there just walking around the whole time. And with that much leg pain, it just wouldn't have been possible. This might sound silly, but the leg pain is kind of the reason I haven't been doing uh, water reviews this this week. Because, like, even... This sounds crazy, but even just walking around the room, walking around my room, <laughs> just to shoot a, a water review video, video was too painful. And so what actually ended up happening, happening was... I messed up the tendon in my right foot from pressing like this. <laughs> and then that was that was my right foot. And then I ended up injuring my left foot because I was hopping on my left foot so much and I was like leaning to the left so much that I injured my left foot because I was hopping around the house on it. So <laughs> my right foot felt better but then I, it was, it, my left foot was in a lot of pain. And, um, I, it's, like, I'm a really big guy. I've, I'm really overweight. And, um, I think that the extra weight just puts stress on your body and makes you get injured more easily. And so, um, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Yesterday, <laughs> I was pretty much back to normal. And, um, yeah, Alexander inspired me to, um, to do a little rambling video like this. And uh, I need to I need to take a shower because <laughs> right now I stink. I stink. There's some dirty socks on the floor right there. There's a trash can that's full next to me. <laughs> um, and I'm just I've been kind of lazy this week. And and a neat thing about doing these water videos is they're all time stamped. This like on the file save date it all has the time and I actually looked back a couple minutes ago and um, it's been about four days since I've taken a shower which is pretty embarrassing so as soon as I hit stop record on this I'm gonna go take a shower and whenever I put up those big montages of uh, thousands of water videos and I put the timestamps on them you, you guys can see how long I wear a shirt for and that kind of shows how long um, it's been since I've showered it's kind of embarrassing and you you know that you smell really bad when your own smell annoys you. Like normally you smell a little bit and it bothers other people because they're not used to that smell. Like, you, you know, when you walk into a new area, there's a new smell, it's easier to tell. But once you're annoyed by your own smell, you know you smell really bad. I need a shower. <coughs> um, so that's pretty much it. And yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what is the cheapest water that you've ever had. This is kind of a special video. You know, I talked, so I'm gonna drink from a bottle. I kind of want to do more videos like this where it's just off the cuff and just spontaneous and I don't put that much thought into it because sometimes I really way overthink my videos. Here's a new phone I have. This is a OnePlus 5T. I bought this at the end of December, which is over four months ago. And on my tech channel, I've been planning on doing a review of this. And I just keep delaying it and delaying it and delaying it and overthinking the video. And just like putting too much thought into it. And um, now it's been four months and pretty like in a month or so, the next version of this is going to come out and this is going to be outdated. My spontaneous videos are only slightly worse than videos I put a ton of, like, thought into. For videos, you kind of just have to sit down and do it. It's so easy to overthink stuff. I, I really overthink, you know, a lot of stupid stuff with, like, social media. Like, 
Snapchat, for example. I was just talking about how I was at the gym. Like, I, I did like a, a Snapchat at the gym one time and deleted it like an hour later because I was just you know, overthinking it. Like, does anybody want to see this? This is boring. Everyone goes to the gym. Why would anyone want to see this? But then I kind of thought about it again, but other people do that, so why shouldn't I? And I think I, I hardly ever snap, really, because I just don't do anything that interesting. On my trip to Washington, I would have done a Snapchat from there, but just on my day-to-day, -day, I don't really do anything that interesting or cool. Um, but I think I just overthink it too much. I don't think anybody really even cares. Um, anyway, that's it. See you next time. Okay, I'm back. Let me just clarify what I was saying. I think that being spontaneous and just making videos right away can actually be better. Like, I think that Casey Neistat and even the Logan Paul brothers, they do videos, like, every single day. There's no time for them to second-guess what they're doing. Like, sometimes their videos are good, sometimes they're bad, but they just release it, you know? I used to do that a lot when I was younger. I would, like, have an idea for a video and just go shoot it that day, you know? I wouldn't second-guess myself. I wouldn't judge, well, what if someone thinks this about it? What if somebody thinks this about it? I would just go do it. And I think there's a lot of, like, good to that. When you just do st stuff spontaneously, maybe two-thirds of it is bad, but then you're left with a third that is, that is good and, and watchable and people like. When you second-guess everything and you, like, keep stopping yourself from just spontaneously shooting stuff, you're left with a you know, much lower qual quantity. Maybe it's, maybe it's like, 30% better quality, but then the overall number of good videos goes down. There's actually a lot of videos <laughs> that I made from the past that I, when I was making them, I thought they were stupid. And, um, like, I have this video. It's, I think it's called, uh, My Computer Is Not Working or something. And it's just me running around like an idiot. Hitting something, right, hitting a computer, computer with a hammer or something. Right, computer, come on, let's go. And let's go at it. That's why I do a computer. 2018, John yeah. probably would have second guessed that and be like, "Oh, that's stupid. Nobody's gonna like that." But then, it's got my John from the past shot that <laughs> and <laughs> kind of second guessed himself <laughs> after making it. But oh um, people liked it anyway, so it was too late to go back. <laughs> so oh I think my. I'm just saying sometimes um, computer. putting too oh much thought God. into videos. Can be bad, and um, yeah, that's all. Okay, I hope that makes sense.